I think this is roughly what you have here. I'm putting the poor chip. Let's do that. I've got auto roofs on. We'll make the porch dip in there like that. Okay. And uh, that's about right. So this will be the porch right here. <coughs> I think I've got this, this house a little bit too long. That looks a little more, more right. So uh, <coughs> this is where I'm starting from. I'm in Architectural 2014. Okay. I'm going to hit Shift F6 to tile the screens and click on this screen to make it the active one and see what we can do here. I have no idea about how this is going to go. I've just been using this for a long time. I can probably make it work. So obviously here we need from this wall to this wall to be a gable to match yours. So I'm going to use the wall break tool and put a break on the edge of the porch to segment this wall here away from that wall. So I'm going to open this wall for programming and tell it to be a gable over on the roof tab. Like that. Well, yeah, there's that, ga that gable over there. Looks like my pitches are a little bit different. And we want to do the same thing here. Okay. Now here we want a shed roof. So how do you do that? Now with our with architectural, unlike with architectural, all you have are these settings. You don't have any. There's no way for me to directly uh, select the roof plane and tell it what I want to do. So I have to tell it by telling the wall. So this wall here, I'm going to make it invisible. Invisible. But I also want a 312. Uh, 312 or, or thereabouts over this wall so I have to go to the roof tab and tell it to be 312 and I'm not caring I don't care about the roof returns you weren't asking about that so we'll put 312 in over here but that's only part of the way this will probably only get part part of the answer and see what it does is it creates this entire roof plane here from all the way up is 312 and that's probably not what you want <coughs> well, I need to get this wall here and open it up and tell it to be a full gable. It didn't do much there. And then uh, this wall here, I'm going to break it into two chunks right there at the edge of the porch. So we just have this part here, I'm going to tell it to be a full gable. And you can see that a full gable is not forming there. But Full gable is the command you use to get a shed roof to form. Now, on this wall here, I'm going to tell basically, now let me, let me click here, and you can see this is 7 foot 9 and a half in from this wall here, plus the thickness of this wall is uh, 7, call it 7 and 3 sixteenths. So, eight, about 8 foot 5. The reason I want to calculate that is I'm going to open the dialog box for this roof plane, or this wall. It's obviously not a roof plane, it's a wall. And I'm going to go to the roof tab and tell uh, lower pitch to be 3. That's the lower pitch in here. And the upper pitch to be, uh, and we'll click on upper pitch, is whatever it is for the rest of the, uh, I've forgotten what it is. Uh, let me check, go over to build roof and see what that figure is. Uh, what's the pitch? A12. Okay. And you're, you're using whatever you're using. I'm, I'm using what I'm using. So we'll open up this, this wall here now that I know what the pitch is. And we'll set that to A12. And I want this to start, A12 to start over this wall. And that's 8 feet about eight foot six in so I'm going to start at from the baseline eight foot six inches and that ought to smooth that out it looks like it hasn't done it yet 
it looks like it's still 312 all the way up. That's what I mean about try again, persist. Because I've done the right commands and the software just hasn't uh, complied yet. So I'm going to check, check, make sure that the settings went in the way I intended them. So it'll be set to uh, 8 foot 6. That's 96 plus 6. Yeah, 102, that's correct. <coughs> you can see that's 7 foot 9 to the surface there, plus the thickness here, which I measured as about 7 inches. That's how I got the 8 foot 6. I'm going to increase this to 108. It's still not doing what I'm telling it to do. So I'm going to change these values until I get the stinking effect I want. Change that to 120. Watch well, being obstinate. I'm going to change that back the other way. Make that uh, 72. I'm trying to trying to see uh, what it takes. Okay. It's just not responding to my command, so I'm just going to delete the roofs. Should be over under delete objects. And uh, all fours, roof. You're telling me, well, I got all the roofs on. Well, I don't care. I want them deleted. Now I'm going to go back over to uh, over here and turn auto roofs on and see if it no, it's, it's doing the same thing. I, that's the reason I don't like to use architectural suite interiors, <laughs> uh, interior decorator, because this is all you got to work with 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 uh, with roofs, and it takes patience. And a lot, a lot most most of the time, new users don't have patience. Plus, they don't have they don't know how the software works. And even I've been using this for decades, and I can't get it to do what I want. So anyway, but the key is the settings in these in these four walls here. Let me just jockey these settings around until we get a success. Uh, how about I change that to 412? And we'll put that in at uh see I I will be a, we'll call it eight foot six, eight foot six. Oh, wrong wrong input. Need that eight foot six over here. The upper is going to be eight. Ah, okay, look at there. That's about probably about what I wanted. I I was trying to put it in here, and I should have put it in here. But with architectural suite uh, interiors and deck and lawn, you know, you get, if the settings aren't right, you're screwed. And when you get the settings right, then you're fine. And sometimes figuring out the settings is the hard part. Let me turn this around. That's probably about what you wanted. But remember, I, I put all of that now. Let's let's call this a porch. I haven't carefully named all this stuff. Where's porch? There it is. Now I'll give it a concrete floor and take the base mold out. Remember what I did that worked. <laughs> Finally, we'll open this wall, go to the roof tab, and I put in 102, which I'd measured. I was on the right track. I just missed it a little bit. And I set the upper pitch at 8, or whatever it is, the pitch for your most of your house. And then uh, I changed the uh, this figure here to be whatever the, the uh, lower pitch is over the porch. And that worked. Okay. I know it's frustrating and uh, so forth, but uh, it can be done, and it's just a matter of getting the settings correct, and then sometimes it's just a matter of trial and error, figure out what the setting, stinking settings are. And uh, I mentioned it several times, but uh, don't give up. If you want to do something, do something, and don't let the, so the software run your life. It's just a tool, and uh, the more you use it, the smarter you'll get with it, and the quicker you'll get at uh, going from your own point A to point B. Okay, well, thank you. That's it for tonight.